I believe that as a beginner in Path of Exile, you should not roll a melee character as your first one. In this video, I will tell you exactly why. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host Gyro. How are you doing today? So we're talking about melee versus ranged in Path of Exile. We are about to have a new league starting and a lot of people will be jumping into the game, trying it out. I love the game myself and generally, as I stated in the previous video, I actually love it and I think you should play it. However, if you are a beginner of the game and you don't know any better, yes, you watched a few guides, possibly mine, some other people produce a lot of guides for Path of Exile, and you're thinking, oh, I'd love to hack and slash everything and it looks so awesome and all that kind of stuff. Yes, it is awesome, but I recommend highly against it if you are a beginner. First of all, let's get the obvious out of the way. I think you should play the way you like to play. Any game, Path of Exile, is not, a, is not a game that should make any difference. Because even if the game will be harder, because basically that's what it will be about, that's what I'll be talking to you about today, um, I do think that if you enjoy melee range, and if that's the experience you are after, you will always benefit from playing the way you like to play. You just need to be a little bit patient. It probably you will be a, you will struggle a little bit more. This and that. Listen to the to the whole video, and I will tell you point by point exactly what awaits you in the game if you are choosing the harder path, which is basically the melee path. Spoiler alert. But. If you enjoy being melee, if you don't want to be ranged, if you don't want to be caster, if you're not attracted to just the shape of the witch and how the character is uh, presenting itself in the game, well, I'm not gonna stop you. But basically, the point, the overarching point here is that casters in Path of Exile are better because, well, for the obvious reason that they can maintain range and kill groups of enemies at range, which is highly beneficial considering the density and nature of a lot of monsters, ailments and other kind of stuff that you'll be encountering in the game the further you progress. Melee has to face enemies, well, point blank really, face to face. It is more dangerous without the right build and often without the right equipment, but we will get to that in a moment. So. As I already mentioned, there are a lot of hazards out there, elemental ailments and all that kind of stuff that will roast you at melee range and you'll be ineffective at range if you just try to run away as the footage behind in the background will show you at one point in time throughout this video. It is, it is kind of, it is just harder basically. Plus, casters, well, not all, all casters have to be summoners, not all ranged has to be casters either. You can play, you know, you can play with a bow, you can play with pets and stuff like this. But one item that I'm gonna add here from my own personal casual perspective is that huge, huge, huge benefit for beginners is the fact that casters can be effective and super overpowered summoners straight away. In Path of Exile, as demonstrated to you very, very clearly, in the previous video where I was sharing with you the lazy summoner build that doesn't require basically any skill and that will enable you almost from get-go, almost from get-go to be rather OP and quite enjoyable as a gameplay. But again, enjoyable, not enjoyable, these are subjective statements. So for some people it might be enjoyable, for some people it might not be, I don't know. But that is one point that I have to say. It is very easy and Enjoyable, I will repeat myself once again, to rely on your personal tanks, summonable tanks basically, to take damage for you and preoccupy your enemies. As opposed to the classic uh, wizards, kind of classic spell slingers builds as well, being a, being a summoner also makes it much easier to control the battlefield and preoccupy your enemies and stay at ranged. Because even if you're a ranged class but you have nothing to pre preoccupy enemies with and you're not killing them fast enough, they will still try and reach you. So that's another fairly obvious point, if, but if you're a beginner, we cannot skip these either. I already said that the next point is, but let's just make it clear, let's make it obvious again. Path of Exile is quite hard. It's a hard game to, to get a grasp on. Uh, of, and, and you can play it in a dumb and easy way, which some of the builds, like my Lazy Summoner build, enables. But in many cases, if you have to face the enemies face to face in a melee range, they will throw all these complexities and all these dependencies on a lot of things right in your face. Um, 
There surely are a lot of very powerful tanking builds, very capable tanking builds available. They're virtually unkillable, at least they claim to be at some levels when you build them properly and invest years into them. I'm exaggerating slightly. If you're willing to put all the hard work into it, but what people might be conveniently forgetting, and I encourage you not to forget this, but face it as a truth, face on, as a beginner, as a potential player of Path of Exile, you are yet not invested. You are yet not invested fully into the game. You just want to have fun, you want to try it out, you want to learn the ropes, you want to just progress, right? So why make it harder for yourself at this stage? Why make it, why make it harder? While you could just explore the game, you could choose the easiest path, you know, path of lesser resistance, there is nothing wrong with that when you're just learning the ropes of any game whatsoever. And basically, yeah, not to put in all the hard work first hand. But again, some people might choose to, I would not, and I would not recommend it. Further, further on to kind of expanding on this point, melee builds rely very heavily on gear choices and on weapon particularly. Much, much more heavily than casters ever will. Casters rely primarily on the level of gems that level up your spells, basically your abilities, they level up as you use them, so it relies on the level of gems and passive talent choices, which the build enables you to take. Melee cares about that, but like I said, also about the gear and physical, for example, physical damage and physical damage reduction shown on the character sheet. Um, so to remain relevant, to remain efficient, to remain good and enjoyable in a fight, basically. So you will have to continue keeping up with the upgrades of your weapons primarily in order to continue enjoying the gameplay. And that creates quite a bit of an extra strain, especially until you figure out exactly how to get that gear, what stats to re-roll, how to upgrade the stuff and so on and so forth. Finally, and I would dare say most importantly for me, Personally, however, if you do not care about how you feel during leveling process, if you don't care about that, if all you care about is some abstract end game that waits for you there weeks and months down the track, then this point probably will not matter to you. To me, it's very relevant and to people who play like me, who are my subscribers to my channel, who are casuals, it would be very, very relevant, I would dare say. So leveling in Path of Exile is not very quick or instant for that matter. It's not Diablo where you could be power leveled, for example. At least I'm not aware of any Diablo-like, very efficient, very virtually instant ways to be top level and immediately start bracing yourself through the end game, being boosted by some people. It doesn't work that way, really, in Path of Exile. So leveling will take time and leveling a melee character, in the early game especially, through the first couple of acts up to around level 30, I would say, is quite a slog. Especially it becomes obvious when you have tried one of the summoner builds or one of the other kind of builds like Arc Witch builds, some other builds of ranged spell slingers, you will just, then you will see exactly the difference, then you'll understand just how much of a slog it is. You will have lots of issues to say nothing about already mentioned weapon upgrades and dependency on that and positioning of yourself against enemies, not dying, that kind of stuff. You will be running out of mana. You will have situations, dumb situations like getting a good upgrade, which is a dagger, but it will not allow you to use an AOE skill such as cleave, leaving you with some, I don't know, subpar swords or axes that you had to use a single target ability such as Double Strike, which is good, but it's bad against multiple enemies without spl splash support, those kind of things. And I know that these arguments might not mean much to you right now, but you would have to take my word for it at this point in time. So this relatively inexcusably horrible period is lasting until about level 12, which again, you will get there, it doesn't take that long, I suppose. But it's unpleasant, and I don't wish this upon anyone who is just scratching the surface of Path of Exile. Like, why, right? So it lasts until level 12 when you get the quest to go and kill Mervale the Siren. And for that quest, before you go there, when you go to the quest giver, they actually give you a first reasonable, what I would call a reasonable and rather enjoyable melee skill slash gem called Lacerate. 
There are a lot of good builds, lacerate based builds in Path of Exile for melee that start shining later in the game, end game. I don't have my own guides for lacerate builds yet, but if there is interest, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll produce one. But you could just search YouTube for lacerate builds for Path of Exile and you'll get a ton of them. So that all starts shining later in the game and lacerate does create a nice rather enjoyable compared to everything that you've experienced so far up to level 12 as a melee character gameplay with some projected aoe waves of that stuff especially with bleed support this skill go goes quite well so i could almost recommend it except i don't recommend that you suffer through all the start of the game and get to that point plus even once you get lacerate look it's still you're still in melee you still have all those issues to deal with and it's not I wouldn't call Lacerate completely a game changer, like amazing, okay? The first feeling when you might feel like it starts paying off, your journey starts paying off, will be around level 28, 28, 20, 30, when you will finally get the skill called Cyclone. Cyclone, again, not the only skill, not the only good melee skill, but staple kind of really really well-known good enjoyable beginner friendly builds are either lacerate builds or cyclone builds so cyclone you would have to be basically one third through the leveling process before you get that skill that will allow you to play rather easily it will start resembling whirlwind barbarian from diablo so that's when it starts becoming fun you just, you know, whirlwinding for the lack of a better word, cycloning through the enemies and everything dies with bleed support, with impale support. Cyclone and impale abilities work really, really well. If you'd like to take that as a pointer, I would never dare to pretend that this is a full-blown guide for that. But I hope that I'm coming across loud and clear. Being a beginner in Path of Exile is overwhelming and there is a lot to learn and making your life harder by having to upgrade your gear, rely more heavily on your weapons. Wait for ages, in my opinion, until you get enjoyable, actually, abilities, enjoyable skills that make you feel OP. You know, I think it's way too late. I think it's way too late and a lot of people would drop out. You would simply drop out out of the game as a beginner who has no other investment into it, who hasn't played previous seasons, doesn't know what I'm talking about and has to take my word for it. All the other guides that you will see out there, they usually just jump straight to the OP end game, showing to you all these super uber geared characters and all that kind of stuff. But problem is that you need to get there. You need to get there. They're showing you all that kind of stuff, just like someone tries to sell you a pyramid scheme to buy into and show you all the wealth from someone who has been there from the very beginning or invested years and years and years of scamming people. Bad example, but hopefully this makes you smile a little bit. I hope I'm coming across loud and clear. To stick to simple builds, and if you're completely uncertain about what to play in Path of Exile, first of all, yes, play it, it's a great game. And secondly, try versions and variations of summoner builds first, then perhaps try Elementalist, because you'll be familiar with the casters already, with the caster world, and then expand into melee classes and melee types of play. That would be my recommendation for you, but I would love to hear how does that make you feel. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Have you tried it? How did it pan out for you? Let me know in the comments down below. Always love to talk to my people, especially people who are trying to have fun just like me in all these games and ARPGs at this stage. Please subscribe for more of similar content. Let me know in the comments down below what particularly interests you about Path of Exile, Outriders, Diablo, other kind of stuff that I am currently interested in. And I will see if I can produce some more of that enjoyable content for you. Thanks for tuning in. I'll be speaking with you very soon again in a couple of days time. See you later. Bye bye.